Entropy is a very complicated yet interesting concept. For those of you who are completely unfamiliar with it, it's commonly understood to be the tendency for any given system to, to tend towards some sort of state of disorder or chaos or randomness. And though it's most commonly associated with uh, thermodynamics, this concept pops up in all kinds of different disciplines. It appears to be everywhere. And the reason why entropy, the reason why things tend towards some sort of randomness or disorder is because entropy cannot decrease. It can only increase. This concept, this is kind of how we put the nail in the coffin on us being able to travel backwards in time. Because if you are able to travel backwards in time, entropy would be able to decrease. You can kind of think of it as if you have some sort of fruit, let's say an apple on the table. According to the laws of physics, this apple can only slowly rot away. You can't rewind the time on the apple and make it less rotten. This is because of entropy. But the interesting thing about entropy is that it cannot decrease. It only slowly increases up to a point. It reaches its maximum value. And this maximum value is what's called thermodynamic equilibrium. But the interesting thing about thermodynamic equilibrium is that it is a state in which there is no change. It's a rather interesting juxtaposition, isn't it, that when a system is at its most random and chaotic, is simultaneously where it's at this position of what we would describe as some sort of peace, some sort of equilibrium. Peace and chaos don't merely appear to be two sides of the same coin. They appear to be pretty much the same thing. Because this thing that we are all experiencing that we call reality, it is far out. 